Our company was formed in 1982 or thereabouts uh, through the desires of Jim Pearson of Cinema Rentals, uh, myself, Eric Duster, the designer of this, uh, and Walt Farrar, who's been acting as our pilot here today. Uh, the three of us got together with Rick uh, Higby to operate the camera and have been going ever since. This company was formed because there was a need in the industry to put a camera in places you can't reach with any other means. Uh, that includes cranes and dollies and full-size helicopters. This gets us around and under things that you can't otherwise reach with the full-scale equipment, or it gets us much more flexible movement than you can do with a crane. You don't have to reposition equipment, you just fly the helicopter to that position. Hover cam is available for shots that can't be done in any other way. Uh, crane shots that pull up and away from things, or, or moving shots that you would with a dolly through an area and up and over things, uh, across water. Uh, in and around places. We've flown from inside a building to the outside through a door or window. Um, in and around trees. Pretty much anywhere. Uh, travel through tunnels. Can't think of anything else. Anything that you can fly a helicopter through, anything that's got enough clearance off the end of the blades for us to fit through, we can fly through and around. This helicopter is controlled by a three-man crew. There are two operators of the machinery, a pilot operating the helicopter just as you would either a full-size or a model helicopter. Then the camera operator has his own control system to steer and operate the camera independent of the helicopter control. Uh, to facilitate this smoothly, there are gyros on board the helicopter to smooth out the movement of the camera. If the helicopter moves, the camera is, doesn't, it maintains its focus uh, to take out any unwanted aircraft motion to get us as smooth a shot as possible. The gyros can also be taken out of the control so that if the, if the director is after a moving kind of shot, that can be accomplished as well by taking that gyro system out one channel or all three if necessary. The basic helicopter here weighs about 18 pounds all by itself. And then we add the other equipment on there to steer the camera, the actual weight of the camera. This one's a 13 pound camera with the video assist. Uh, all told, ready to go with a tank of gas and, and uh, film in it, it's about 35 pounds. Uh, it's a two cycle engine, runs on normal gasoline, so we can ship it anywhere in the world and run on automobile gas or aviation gasoline. We'll have to worry about special fuels there. Um, very good performance. We've operated at over 9,000 feet in the mountains. Very powerful machine. Uh, gets you a good climb out if necessary for a kind of pull away crane shot. A very, very well performing machine. Hovercam has been used on quite a few projects worldwide. Uh, locally, we've done Lois and Clark, ZZ Top, uh, a number of other music videos in New York and LA area. We've been to Canada, Northern Canada, uh, Korea, South, uh, South America, and Chile. Uh, been to Australia. Basically, there isn't any place in the world we can't go. We've been pretty much all over the world. Anywhere you can ship cargo on an airplane, we can go. The number of hours required to learn to do this, we've typically gone after people that have already been very accomplished in this field in several ways. Both excellent at flying, competition level, uh, uh, world-class flyers are required to do this. Several things. You need to be able to orient the helicopter in many different situations. It's a lot different than in the local model airplane field. And the other thing is they need to be very accomplished at maintenance and understanding of mechanical things. And uh, we'd like to find people that are already accomplished in that area something that goes beyond hobby into obsession level kind of thing. The most challenging job we've done, I think probably they're all challenging and that's part of the excitement of doing this and that every single job has its own unique features and requirements. You have to, you have to solve things on the run in some cases. Uh, this one's been a good one. We've had a really good crew to work with. Uh, the Six Flags people, of course, were very helpful in, in getting this accomplished. Um, Probably the most challenging technically is flying through a window or, or chasing a moving vehicle. We've done those kinds of things. Uh, flying at night, one of our very first jobs was at night and we didn't know about it till about four days before the shoot and we had to come up with a way to do it. Uh, but it went off very smoothly. Um, I think probably every job is a challenge. That's, that's, the, the, that's what keeps us going.